Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a ship with me video. We have about 20 items to get shipped out. I am running behind on time, so we do need to kind of hurry. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We're going to start off with my only sale for my men's closet. This is a North Face button down shirt. It's very soft. It feels like, yeah, modal blend. Anytime a fabric is just like unbelievably soft and it's not a knit, it usually is modal. So this is a men's size large. I have had it, I would say like probably six to nine months now, but I've mentioned it in the past. Stuff in my men's closet usually sits for a long time, but it does usually generally sell very well for a good profit. This shirt in particular did have some flaws, which I didn't notice when I picked it up initially at the bins. And instead of just re-donating it, I decided to list pretty low. Yeah, I listed around 25 and I received an offer of 18, which I was more than happy to accept considering, you know, it did have some flaws and I was considering just donating it back so my earnings were $14.40 and I still made a net profit of around $13.40 so I'm super happy with that this wasn't you know very heavy at all so it probably cost me around a dollar if you guys uh, get stuff home from the thrift store and it has flaws I would suggest you still list it. Um, maybe don't look up stock photos. Don't, you know, spend a whole lot of time on the listing just because, you know, time is money. But I would say to just go ahead and list it and disclose the flaws. Okay, next up we have, we're switching to women's stuff now. The rest is women's. This is an equipment blouse. Really pretty kind of dark floral print. This is in a size large. It's a newer piece from the brand, which is great. Kind of has that Mandarin collar to it. This is a popover shirt, meaning that it's it buttons down, but not all the way down. It's a partial button or popover shirt. And this was a pretty quick sale. I listed it within the last week and a half, I would say. I believe I listed it for, yeah, $58. It retailed, I want to say, for two or $300, even though this is a polyester blend equipment. The brand is so expensive. So I listed for $58. If this had been 100% silk, like a lot of their items are, I probably would have listed closer to $75-ish. But with it being uh, polyester, I did list at 58 and someone liked it. And so I sent them out a $52 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $38.92. I paid $2.25 and so my net profit was $36.67 on that blouse, which I am very happy with. Moving on, we have a button front cropped cardigan from the brand St. John, a definite bolo for you guys. This brand retails again for so much money. This cardigan was, I would guess $700. It's just outrageously expensive. And it is their Santana knit, which is, Kind of the most sought after material that St. John produces. It is exclusive to the brand. I believe it's a wool, a wool rayon knit. I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure that's what Santana knit is comprised of. So for this cardigan, I listed at 40. Again, someone liked it. And so I sent them out a $40 offer with discount ship that was accepted. My earnings were $29.32 and my net profit was right around $27. 
and this was also a very fast sale. I listed this right around the same time that I listed the equipment blouse. Okay, next, a really fun contemporary kind of minimalist piece here. This is ASOS. It's a turtleneck neutral midi dress with side vents at the bottom hem. Those just make it a little bit easier to walk in a long knit dress like this. And I listed this, I actually bought this for myself, but I live in Houston and it really just does not get that cold here. I say that and it's like 40 degrees, 39 degrees outside right now. So this dress honestly would have come in handy this week, but it's fine. It normally does not get that cold here. So I went ahead and listed this at $28. Again, someone liked it. And so I sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship that was accepted, making my earnings $17.32 and my net profit right around $15. So I'm happy with that. ASOS, you know, I don't run for it when I find it, but I would say it is a pretty consistent uh, bread and butter seller for me. They have a lot of trendy styles. And this dress did have a lot of marketable factors to it. It's longer length, midi and maxi dresses tend to sell for a little bit more. It was a very, you know, minimalist contemporary style. It was a wool blend, which does kind of elevate it a little bit. Um, and, you know, it's a neutral kind of universal color. Can match black, brown, accessories. Okay, next, this was an exciting sale, Toad and Company, because it was a relisted item. So I've had this dress for probably about a year now, and I was surprised because Toad and Company and really any uh, athleisure style dresses like this usually fly out of my closet from brands like this, Toad & Company, uh, Patagonia, Athleta, Prana. People really like that practical aspect of athle athleisure dresses. A lot of them are sweat wicking, but you know, they're still cute and they're still a dress. So they kind of add a little bit of formality to something that's just super easy and um, practical to wear. So yeah, I relisted this at $30 after having it for about a year and it sold within a couple days of being relisted. So I would highly recommend you guys relist your stuff. I use the relist feature on Posture VA. I just go in pretty much every day or I have been and I'll just type in how many listings I want relisted. I usually do like 15 per day. And then I just click start and Posture VA relists everything for me. If you guys want to try that out, um, I will leave my code is McKenzie20 if you want 20% off your first month on Posture VA. I do highly recommend it. I use it for sharing my closet. Um, I switch between that and flip. Uh, but yeah, Posture VA does have a fantastic relisting feature, and I think it's highly worth the, I think it's like $25, $25 a month, I think, because one sale from relisting pays for that subscription. So I relisted that dress at $30, um, and I received an offer of twenty-five. dollars which I accepted, my earnings were 20, and my net profit was $18. Okay, moving on, we have a COS or COS button down, again, popover shirt. It has a corduroy texture to it. It's in like an eggshell cream kind of color. Again, very minimalist, contemporary. This brand is like a step above H&M. I think it's like H&M's higher end. I think they're owned by the same company, but POS is more expensive and maybe a, a little bit better quality than H&M. So this 
So I listed this shirt at 28 and someone liked it. So I sent out a $25 offer with discount ship. My earnings were $17 and 32 cents and my net profit was right around $15 on this. So again, good bread and butter stuff. This did sell very quickly. If you notice, a lot of these sales are made from offers being sent out. That is, again, my virtual assistant, either Posh or VA or Flip. So I do highly recommend having services like that. And Poshmark is fully aware that people use bots. They have sent out questionnaires in the past asking sellers about their bot use. I have answered questions saying, yes, I use a bot. I've told them which bot I use and they don't have a problem with it. So, you know, it's not an issue. Okay, moving on, we have a Torrid baby doll blouse. This is very cute. It's a size zero in Torrid, which does convert to a women's size large or 12. This is a really soft, stretchy jersey knit and it has kind of like a, an O-ring detail at the neck for some added interest. It also has a bell sleeve and I think this is new without tags because it still has the tag barb on it. So that's nice. Um, I listed this at 32 and I would say maybe like three or four months after listing, I received a $27 offer which I did go ahead and accept. That made my earnings $21.60 and my net profit right around $20. I think this Torrid top, Torrid usually flies out of my closet. I think this took um, a little bit longer to sell because it is a smaller size in Torrid. I would say the true plus size stuff like, you know, 1X, 2X and up sells a little bit faster. The size zero, um, tends to sit, but you know, it still sells usually in the grand scheme of things. Okay. I need to go ahead and get this stuff packed up and take it down to the post office. And then I will be back to finish up. Okay. I'm back from the post office. So let's go ahead and get back into it. Next we have a sports bra. This is from the brand girlfriend collective. It's just a very basic little black sports bra with adjustable straps and I purchased this from a friend. It was in a clothing lot. I purchased three lots from her. I think this was from the second one and it did have a lot of athletic wear. I have already made my money back on that haul and I am into the profit zone so this sports bra I listed at $25 and I would say after a couple months I received a $21 offer which I thought was super fair. I did accept that making my earnings $16.80. I paid around $10 for it. I can't remember exactly. It might have been closer to $12 or $13 but I just said around $10 and so my net profit was around $7 on this bra. Uh, there were a lot of big ticket items in the clothing lot and that's what I really made my profit on. But the smaller things I still did want to list and make back not only my investment on them, but um, you know, even a small profit just because everything does add up. And when you list everything, even the smaller items, then it doesn't drive up the cost of the other items that you purchase in the haul, if that makes sense. Okay, next up we have a Torrid top. This is a size 3X. It's really cute. It has a lace up at the chest as well as both shoulders. It's long line, 100% rayon. This did have a small hole in the back that I did not notice at the thrift store. I probably would have left it behind if I had noticed it, but I didn't. So you know, I got it home, still listed it. I did list it lower at 18. 
if it didn't have the flaw, I probably would have listed closer to 28 to 30-ish just because it does have some really cute details to it. But yeah, with the flaw, I listed at 18 and I got an offer of 14 within like a week of being listed, which I went ahead and accepted. That made my earnings 11 and my net profit around $9.25. So, I mean, I'm so happy with that. I made $9 back on a flawed item that, again, I could have otherwise just donated. But, you know, that all adds up. Even your very small sales. So, and Torrid also is so fast and easy to list. It really was not a problem. Okay, now we have a three item bundle. First off is this Lou and Gray Signature Soft top with a kind of like surplice detail and back with a little cutout. And this is so soft, so cozy, definitely kind of at leisure. This same kind of thing, athleisure style. This is a newer tag, Athleta, asymmetric hem, long line, kind of tunic top, long sleeve. This is a modal blend. So kind of like I was mentioning at the very beginning of this video, this is incredibly soft, being modal. And then lastly, another very soft fabric. We have 100% cashmere sweater. If I am hanging out my cashmere sweaters, which I usually do, I use a padded hanger just so that the shoulders don't get stretched out at all with the kind of fine knit. This is from the brand Lilla P, which is a pretty expensive brand I learned uh, through this sweater. This retails for about $250 and it's in excellent condition, the sweater. So when the three of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $85. The, that price does include my automatic discount of 15% off three items or more. And so yeah, the bundle price came out to $85 and I was offered 70. I did counter that to 75 considering these were all pretty newly listed pieces. And, you know, there is a cashmere sweater in there that did retail for quite a bit. So yeah, I felt comfortable countering to 75. That was accepted. My earnings were 60. I paid $6.75 for everything. And so my net profit was $53.25 on this bundle. I saw a comment on one of my last Ship With Me videos with someone saying that they don't like to counter offers because they feel like they're nervous about losing the sale. And I mean, I definitely feel that myself, even, you know, having a ton of listings and making, you know, quite a few sales uh, throughout the week or whenever I also have that hesitancy just because you know you always want a sale is better than no sale essentially but what I do basically is you know I just think about the facts of it like like I was mentioning I got that $70 offer and I thought to myself well you know this is a three item bundle so it already has a 15% off discount applied and so the fact that she, you know, offered $15 below that price that's already discounted, I thought, you know, I think there's some wiggle room for me to counter back. Um, now, if this had been a two item bundle and she offered $15 below and there was no 15% discount already applied, I might have just taken it. Um, but yeah, so I'm more likely to counter on three item bundles, I guess I'm saying. And also the fact that, again, there was a 100% cashmere piece in this bundle. So I was confident that, that if it didn't sell to this buyer, these items would sell to someone else. I think that's what it really boils down to is how confident you are the item, if it doesn't sell to this person, 
will sell to someone else. If it's something that you've had for a long time, personally, I go ahead and just accept the offer. I'm less likely to counter. I would say I'm much more likely to counter on an item when it is newly listed within the last couple weeks. Also, if it has a lot of sellable factors to it, like let's say it's 100% cashmere and it's you know a neutral color that appeals to a lot of people, um, also if it's in excellent condition, if it has no flaws, and also if it's getting a lot of attention from a lot of people. If I listed it three days ago and it already has seven likes, you know that leads me to believe that a lot of people are interested in it. And if I were to counter and the buyer did not accept my counter, I would have a lot of confidence that someone else will buy it. So I think all of those factors kind of play into my confidence in countering with certain items. But, you know, the longer you resell, the more you'll get comfortable with kind of what you should do. There really is no perfect formula to anything. You just kind of have to go with your gut and your gut, I would say, gets stronger and stronger the more you resell. So I hope that helps. Also, I know I've been really bad about responding to comments, but I do read every single comment. So thank you guys for leaving me feedback and interacting with me. I am working on getting better about um, managing my time better so that I can respond to you guys, but I do read all of your comments. So thank you guys for reaching out to me and um, interacting with my videos. Okay. Next we have a really cool, colorful, vibrant boho dress from, this is originally sold at Anthropology. I'll put the tag on the screen. I have no idea how to say it. I have sold a blouse in this exact print in the past. I think it's so pretty, this really vibrant print. Um, and so when I spotted this print at the bins, I knew that it was what it was because I had sold a top with the exact same print in the past. Um, and I think that top sold for like $32 or $35. So I was happy to find it in the dress version. I think this did have a small flaw and um, so it did sit for a while. I would say maybe a year. I should have relisted this. This should have been something that I relisted. I am working on relisting my entire closet again using Posture VA. Uh, it makes it so easy and I've actually been having quite a few sales from doing that. So I listed this at 32 and I got an offer of 20 of 22, which I did accept. This is a perfect example. So it was listed at 32 and I got an offer of 22. That is a bit low for my list price, but because I have had this for so long, I did not counter. I went ahead and accepted it. I was ready to move it out and reinvest my net profit of $16.60 back into more inventory. I can buy maybe seven items, seven or eight items with that net profit. And hopefully those seven or eight items sell a lot faster and I can keep things moving. Um, so that's a good example of something that I did not counter, even though it was a bit of a low offer. Um, but, you know, if I had listed that dress a week ago and it had five likes and, uh, you know, people were adding it to their bundle and I was seeing activity on it, I would have countered. Okay, next up, we have this Torrid sweatshirt. This is actually new, new with tags, which is great. It's a size 5X. It retailed for $45.50. And this is newer, actually. I think this was from like 2021. I listed at 35 and this sold for full price, which we love. My earnings were 28 and my net profit was $25.75. I think I've had I've had several Torrid pieces in this small ship with me. That just kind of goes to show you it is for sure one of my most reliable bread and butter brands. 
add my label, add my thank you sticker. This is what my packages look like when the buyer opens them. Okay, moving on. We have a cardigan. This is from the brand Rachel Zoe. I definitely don't always pick up Rachel Zoe, but this particular piece had so many sellable factors going for it. I did want to get it. So first off, it's 100% linen, which we love. It's also a size extra large. And lastly, it's long line, meaning that it, you know, covers the bum. You could wear this with leggings and a tank or blouse and just have a really easy easy breezy beautiful outfit <laughs> it's also a nice kind of neutral color this would be very uh you know no effort to match with jeans and so yeah if this had no brand tag on it. I still would have picked it up. Um, so the Rachel Zoe, the brand only adds an extra layer of, you know, visibility to it. I would say if someone just really likes this brand and they're searching for it. So I listed this at 40. Someone liked it. And so I sent them out a $36 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $26.12 and my net profit $24.12 on that piece. Okay, next we have a Lululemon sweater. I just listed this, was it? Yeah, uh, the day before yesterday. So very quick sale here. I knew it would be. This is called the Hazy Day sweater from Lululemon. It's 5% cashmere. And it measures like a size extra large, large or extra large. I can't remember. Um, and this I purchased again from a clothing lot from a friend. Uh, I just filmed the haul on it. So it, the haul video for this sweater and the rest of the clothing should already be up by now. Um, I paid $15.79 for each item in that haul, but I was happy with the quality and brands that I got. So I listed this sweater at $50. Someone offered me $40, which I did accept, making my earnings $36, and my net profit $20.21. So for something that I did not have to spend any time sourcing, I'm happy with that profit. Okay, next we have a really cute boho sweater. It's a textured knit, fringe trim, flyaway back. The brand on this did not mean anything to me. It's just mod, which I think is like a lower end boutique kind of thing. But the quality on this was good. So I did go ahead and get it. I am all for buying uh, boutique kind of stuff if the quality and the style are there. And with this being super boho, I did want to get it. It's also a cotton blend. If this had been 100% polyester, I do stay away from that just because, you know, the quality is not there on that kind of thing. But I thought this was super cute. And I just throw this kind of stuff on my mannequin. It takes me like two minutes to swivel it around and photo. So I listed this at 28. I received an offer of 20 within maybe like three or four days of being listed. I did counter that to 25, which was accepted. And so my net profit came out to $17.75 on that sweater. It's super cute. I hope the buyer loves it. Next, we have a thermal kind of waffle knit top. This is the newer tag from American Eagle. It's a size extra large and it's camo print. It also looks brand new. If 
this had been size small or if it had been a plain black color or if it had been the older American Eagle tag, I would have left it behind. But with the combination of everything, I did want to get it. I listed at 30. Uh, someone liked it. So again, I sent them out a $27 offer with discount ship. That was accepted, making my earnings $18.92. And my net profit, $16.67. So I'm happy with that for just a long sleeve from American Eagle. I think an almost $17 profit is pretty fantastic. That kind of like cozy loungewear, kind of casual top stuff sells great for me. Okay, last couple of sales here, both Zara actually. So this is newer tag Zara size extra large. This is actually also a part of that buyout I was just mentioning. This is so cute. And yeah, the big reason that I like uh, purchasing from this particular friend is because a lot of the pieces are very trendy in demand brands and also almost all if not all of the pieces are from very recent years like 2020 and on this is the newer tag zara and that's pretty huge to me when i'm paying up for stuff that just means that it is way more likely to sell quickly which this top sold within a day or two and so I'm way more comfortable paying up for inventory when it's going to sell fast. So I listed this at 35. I got an offer of 25, which I did counter to 28. Again, I was confident countering this because it's a really cute top. It has a lot going for it. It was very recently listed. The 28 counter was accepted, making my earnings $22.40. So my net profit was about $6.61 on that top, um, which is not great. But again, I didn't spend any time sourcing it. It probably took me, with photos and listing, maybe 10 minutes to list. And there are several other kind of bigger ticket items in the lot that I will make my serious profit on. So I'm happy with just, you know, making a small profit on that top. Okay, our very last sale for today is this Zara Nua Tags dress. I picked this up at my local Family Thrift Center outlet for $2. It's really cute. It's a linen blend, kind of a minimalist black and white striped print. I listed this at $35 and uh, I probably had it now for about nine months. And so when I received a $22 offer, I just went ahead and accepted. Just to reiterate, I've had it for a while now. So I went ahead and accepted. My earnings were $17.60 and my net profit was $15.60 on this dress. So. And I firmly believe that everything kind of evens out at the end of the day. Sometimes I have sales that I'm surprised, you know, where it's like, wow, I can't believe I've made that much back on that piece. But then other items like this, it's like, well, I definitely could have made a little bit more if I had waited a little bit longer. But at the end of the day, it all evens out, I firmly believe. and. My biggest thing is keeping things moving because, you know, you're not in the storage business. I know a lot of resellers like to say that, but it is very true. And this rack, I try to always keep circulating. I always want to move items in and then move them out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I will see you all soon. Bye, guys.